got you. Broken arm. Boom, boom, boom. Broken nose. Boom, boom, boom. Broken nose. Boom. Ha! Ah, gonna flip you. Once a year, Dwight holds a seminar updating us on the newest developments in the world of karate. Because, as we all know, the one thing that thousand-year-old martial arts do all the time is change. How can I pose this to you in a relatable way? You are all members of the Yakuza, and you happen to be visiting the Lackawanna Trolley Museum, and you are attacked by triads. How can you hold them off until your clan arrives? You cannot go wrong with a throat punch. Gah! Okay, so there's no defense for that. Good to know. No, there is a defense for that. Let me demonstrate. Someone attack me. Kevin, go. No way. Last time you pulled my pants down and then you tried to choke me with my shoelace. False. I did choke you with your shoelace. Now come at me. Okay, with all due respect to everyone here, I think the most worthy opponent of you is you. That is correct. Unless there happen to be measles present. So let's just say that Dwight has come at you with the throat punch. Now how would you, Dwight, defend against it? Easy, allow me to demonstrate. I am attacking myself with a throat punch. Here it comes. Block. Grasp wrist as such. And what if he comes at you with the other hand? Because he does have two. Good point. Second throat punch. Absorb the blow. Groin punch. Hip block. Elbow to the gut. Uh-oh. Up to the nose. No, you're not. Ah. Oh. Oh, my God. He's making you look like such a fool. He really is. But not for long. Huh. Ow. God. In step. Oh, not again. Ha. Ha. You let go, you let go. Oh, you're right. I can't hold on. Oh, oh. You two are so evenly matched. I don't know how one of you is going to get the upper hand. The important thing to remember, Jim, we always have what is called the element of surprise. 